everybody? Today is the 25th of uh, January in 2024. We are going very close to our new month of this year, 2024. It's February. So it's January 25th. 2024 and then 2024 it's 12:35 p.m. my friends and it's very foggy outside so i hope you um so i hope you watch uh, watch out for the ro uh, on the roads watch out so you don't uh, like slide down and just uh, take uh, take care of yourself take care uh, take, uh, take care of other uh, yeah, take care of other people that you're writing with and uh, just uh, and just to make sure that you don't uh, 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 you don't uh, uh, get into the car accident because you know what's happening because winter is not a good season to drive a car so that's a uh, so that's a good point so we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk I want to talk to you about the light of conversation because the light of conversation is a very important thing uh, in our life conversations are very important and uh, are very important things in our lives. And I'm gonna talk to you about the light of conversation. The light of conversation, because the light of conversation is a, uh, the, the light of conversation, and the light of speaking conversation is a very important, uh, it's a very important thing. So let's, uh, go to Proverbs chapter, uh, 1821. Yeah, Proverbs chapter eighteen twenty one, and we gonna uh, before we gonna write this, uh, read the scripture. I wanna talk to you about the light of uh, the light of speaking because what is a correct uh, what is what are correct rules of conversation because it's very important to understand the rules of conversation. Uh, uh, you know, in God's way, not in the devil's way, but in God's way. So the rules of conversation that uh, that if you talk, uh, if you are talking to somebody, the other person should listen. The other person should be a good listener. You can be a, you are a good listener to other people. Other people are good listeners to you. The social skill about, uh, the com, uh, about, um, you know, the speaking, about speaking and the light of conver, uh, and the conversation is to be a good listener is to be a good listener, to participate in this conversation, not thinking about something else. Just, uh, focus on the, conversation because conversation is a very important um, is a very important you know, skill and a skill in our life which God gives to us as a gift of speaking so the thing is uh, the thing is that what is reflecting in our conversation are, those are the good words which are uh, which is the uh, which is the good conversation is reflecting is reflecting us which is uh, which is we not uh, we not uh, say uh, say anything what is against other people we're not saying what is against God we are not saying what is against anyone and we are not saying the word that can hurt other people's feelings or, or other people cannot say anything what can hurt our feelings so so the thing is the line of conversation uh, uh, you can have a conversation with your friend you can have a conversation with your family member a conversation with your sibling and all those other people that you are that you are uh, in life with with friends you know you, you know you have a uh, life with friends you, you have life with uh, your uh, family so conversation is a very uh, uh, you need the light uh, you need to Communicate with other people so you can, so other people can help you, and you can help them. So the con uh, so conversation is basically of the goal of helping other people 
and uh, of the uh, other people's education. Don't just talk about your talk about yourself. Talk about other people. Talk about uh, talk uh, talk to people. Not just about yourself. Ask them questions. Ask uh, ask uh, ask questions. Ask uh, ask uh, ask people. Uh, were they interested and happy? Talk about those things that you like to talk about. For example, you like to talk about Bible. You, for example, you like to talk about music. You like to talk about movies, TV shows, uh, and all that stuff. Keep that in mind what you want to talk about. So the light of conversation is basically, is basically the most important thing that you, uh, that you and, uh, definitely your friends are very interested in, very interested in. For example, you talking, you uh, you are t uh, you are sitting at the table, you are having dinner, or you are having lunch, breakfast, or something like this, and you are having a conversation. A child and a father and a uh, uh, and the mother are having a conversation. Are you having a conversation with your friends? Uh, uh, like uh, you are in some kind of a, um, a very uh, good event or a special place that you are having a conversation. So a conversation is basically is talking back and forth. So back and forth is uh, what I'm saying is. Uh, what I'm saying is that other people are talking to you and you talking to other people. That is not about talking back, talking, um, that is not about talking back or something like this. The point is about the, com uh, about the conversation is to be a good listener, to be a good listener and to be, uh, to participate in the, uh, to participate in this uh, communication conversation. So the thing is that you have to establish yourself in that conversation. Look for uh, look uh, for your own place that you want to converse uh, that you have a uh, that you want to have a conversation with. And when you are having a conversation, and when you are having a conversation, then you uh, then other people should listen to you because other people because good listening because listening is a best skill is a best gift that you can give to your friends to your uh, to your conversation listeners because they're learning something you know conversation is very educational sometimes because, uh, for example, you're talking about uh, you're talking to your friends about school. You're talking about uh, your friends. Uh, what you what other uh, what other teachers are talking to you about school means that conversation is educational, which is uh, which is um, there are different types of conversations. There are verbal conversations and unverbal conversations. But unverbal conversations is like emails, texts, and social media. And verbal conversations is face to face. You're having a verbal conversation with Jesus uh, right now by uh, by reading the Bible. So this is the verbal conversation. The verbal conversation that you are speaking uh, to other person face to face. You're speaking God and the verbal conversation. So the thing is in uh, uh, Proverbs eighteen twenty one says. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. So the point is yeah, that conversation has a language of life and death. You want to talk, you want to have a conversation that has a language of life. Well, you know, the conversation of the language of life is a, is a good conversation. That the conversation that can help you, that conversation that you like to talk about, that the com or that you are enjoying that conversation. You are enjoying that conversation and the conversation, uh, and the conversation can bring a, 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 a death or life that's the expression that uh, that the author uh, of the book of Proverbs uh, just wrote. It's an expression that the conversation 
has uh, the bad meaning, uh, the bad meaning, uh, which is the meaning of death, and which is a good uh, meaning, which is the uh, which is the conversation of life. So this is your own decision by which you want to talk about. This is your own decision. So your own decision. This is what you want to talk about. So so the thing is, if you having a conversation with other people, other people should not comment your conversation because it's just unacceptable. It's just rude. You cannot comment other people uh, other people's opinions. It's wrong. You cannot other, comment other people's opinions. And the other thing is, you cannot be interrupted. You cannot interrupt that conversation. Don't do that. Don't, uh, don't, uh, you know, don't interrupt. It's very important when you're having a conversation. So you don't interrupt. Excuse me. So you don't interrupt other people. Interrupting other people is wrong. Other interrupting other people is wrong. So when you're having a conversation about something that would you like, and other people are trying to uh, talk about something else, that in, that's interrupting the conversation. Uh, that one is interrupting the conversation, and that conversation. Doesn't make any sense because you interrupt the, con uh, the conversation about something else that were you talking about. It's very important to not interrupt the conversation. It's very important to not talk about something else that you are focused on, that you are focused in this conversation. Because the conversation, and when you are trying to have a conversation, for example, for to your um, to your children, to your friends, and to other people that you are um, that you are having uh, that you are communicating with. Interruptions are not good because talking about other things. If you interrupt other people, and then uh, and then you uh, other people are talking about completely something else that what you're talking about. The conversation doesn't make any sense. So you have to, so you have to really, really pay attention to other people when they having a conversation. You be a good listener, not comment, not manipulate the conversation, and also do not gossip. Gossip is a uh, is a very wrong habit to do. Do not gossip. Do not, uh, do not speak, uh, do not, you know, do not gossip. Gossip is a bad thing. Gossip is a bad thing. Interrupting is a bad thing. Talking about other things that, uh, when you're talking about is a, uh, is a bad thing because otherwise, when you talk, uh, when other people are talking, being, uh, talking about other things, and you, for example, talking about music, that conversation doesn't make any sense. Because, because what it says that, you, uh, that other people have other, uh, uh, have chance to talk. Other people have to express their opinions. Is, uh, this is about what is conversation, uh, converse, uh, the conversation is, uh, all about, about that, uh, about, uh, you know, about, uh, expressing your feelings, about expressing, uh, 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 like expressing your opinions, sharing information with other people, sharing information with other people that you, uh, do, that you are interested in. For example, you're talking about music, and uh, the topic about music is a very uh, good topic to uh, topic to talk about. Talk about because ninety percent of people really like music. One hundred percent people really uh, of people really like music. So if you're talking about music and other people are talking about food, the conversation doesn't make any sense because their uh, food has nothing to do with music. There you go. 
The other, uh, the other rule of the conversation is, is to, is a tone of voice. Do not yell when you're having a conversation. Do not yell, hey, do you like this music? No, no. Talk in soft tone of voice. Do not talk loud. Do not talk too loud. Do not talk too quiet. Because what happened? Because do you understand me now? No, because it's too quiet, isn't it? But do you understand me now? This is loud. This is too loud. You have to balance your tone of voice uh, in, the, in the conversation skills. That's very important when you are having a conversation and when you're having a conversation and you're trying to say something and other people are yelling about something else, you can get irritated by this, isn't it? So, so what the point is, the point is about the, about conversation is to focus on other people and other people should focus on you. What are you trying to say? Because otherwise, interrupting and gossiping and commenting on other people's conversations is not right. It's wrong. It's wrong to interrupt. Uh, it's wrong to even interrupt your children when uh, when they try having a conversation with you because they because children are part of your life. Children are God's creation that are a part of your life. You cannot hurt your child. You cannot interrupt their child because. They have a conversation with you. Conversation is a very important skill in our life that God is allowing us to talk. Because when God is not allowed to talk, we'll be we'll be we'll be not speaking because you don't understand what other people are saying. But uh, in another word, uh, but under, uh, the, uh, in other words, you have to have a mouth to speak. You have to have a nose to smell, and you have to, uh, you have ears to hear. You have eyes to see. So those are the most important things that God cre uh, that God made for you: eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. So this is the most important thing about the good um, about the good conversation. Let's go to Luke chapter six forty five, and I will read you the scripture. I will read you the scripture right now because Luke chapter um, six forty five is uh, telling you. Oops! 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 Uh, forty five is that a good person produces good things for the treasury of a good heart and an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of evil heart when you say flaws from what is in your heart so you are deciding so you are deciding what do, what do you want to talk about uh, what do you want to talk about it it comes from your heart and comes from your brain and comes from your mind you what do you want to talk about it's very important to understand this, and other uh, and other people should understand that. Excuse me. Should uh, should understand this that if you having a conversation with other people, what it matters, what is what is inside, what is uh, inside, uh, not no uh, other thing. Um, what it matters, what is come from your mouth. That's what is in the inside, but because that's what uh, what comes from your mouth is very important. What you say, because be, uh, if you uh, saying uh, if you are talking wrong to other people and other people yeah, and other people, uh, if you're talking wrong about other people, it's not fair to talk wrong about other people. It's not wrong to make those people upset when you are saying something. So you have to be careful what you say. You have to be careful what you say because you have a in your brain is is a center of knowledge, is a kind of a big dictionary. 
So, so if you uh, look it at the dictionary, you have to acknowledge yourself that what you say, this word is very important. This word is very important. You cannot call names for other people. Do not call names on your friends because your friends will turn into your enemy. And that is gonna be a that is gonna be a big rip off because you're gonna destroy the friendship and those people who were your friends will will become your uh, will become you will become a victim and they uh, and they become bullies so you don't want to so you watch what you say about your friends to your friends you watch what you, you watch your say uh, you watch out what you say to your children because because if you say something wrong to your child your child can be rebellious to you and he would not like what you were saying Nobody doesn't like, nobody doesn't like, and nobody deserves to be picked on. Nobody deserves to be called names like stupid, like you are, uh, like you don't know nothing. Because this is what sa the devil is saying. This is what the devil is saying. The devil is trying to trick you by saying something that you want to regret. And uh, they trying to say, uh, and the devil is tricking you uh, to say something mean to other people that you care about, and other people who you care about become rebellious. So this is very important. What you, uh, so this is really important that what you understand that because uh, the uh, the people that you are with, and you say something wrong. They be, and other people will become rebellious to you because uh, because uh, becoming rebellious is uh, becoming a a person who does not good do, does not do go, good things. If you call names to your uh, to your children, because you know you know uh, parents are people who are in charge of the house. If if you um, if your child is hearing that your parents are arguing, that your parents are uh, that are your parents uh, calling uh, their child's names, the child is learning those kinds of stuff, and then and then the child is giving that uh, bad bad rebellious information to other people. And your child can get in trouble with this by calling names to other people. So you have to watch out. So you have to watch out what you really say because uh, because uh, what are your uh, what are you saying has a has a, has a tongue of death, which is you which you don't want to use that tongue. You want to use the tongue of life. Which is you don't want to you you don't want to be rebellious uh, to your uh, child you don't want to be rebellious to your friend you want to you don't want to be rebellious to uh, to your uh, family because you are going to be the target that uh, you're going to be the target and other people will not like you because you were calling names to uh, to those people so don't do that don't uh, uh, don't uh, teach your child bad words, false language. Don't teach your child about inappropriate topics. It's just, it's just, it's just a big risky thing that you're, um, uh, it's a big risky thing that other people uh, sometimes cannot put up with it. And you are going to be the target. You're going to be the victim, and other people will be really, really, uh, 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 and other people will really take advantage of you. So don't, so don't even talk, uh, talk about your child that he, uh, that uh, uh, don't talk negatively about your child. Don't talk negatively about your friends. 
don't talk negatively to other people uh, to other uh, people of any certain circumstances because those people can be uh, those people can really feel feel very bad and they can be rebellious against you so what satan is saying uh, so what satan is saying uh, that other people are talking in a rebellious language to you that is what the devil saying not those people so the thing is that the thing is that you need to talk about things that are, are appropriate for other people so this is very important uh, for you to understand let's go to Ephesians chapter uh, 4 29 4 29 Uh, let's go to Ephesians 4.29. This is already the book of Hebrews. Ephesians 4.29. Uh, and it says, like this, Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an, an encouragement to those who hear them. So this is what I'm saying right uh, right now, so you have to watch out what you're saying, because uh, if you are uh, talking abusive language to other people, other people will not accept that. Other people will be rebellious, will treat you badly, and you don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. You don't want to broke your relationship with your children. You don't want to broke, break your relationship with your friends. Because it is just, it is just going to be war and battle. You don't want to war and battle with your child, with your friends. You don't want to do that. Because you will be very sorry. Uh, you will be very sorry in the past how you said to other people very badly that other people will not accept that they are not your friends anymore. You'll be very sorry for that. You'll be very sorry for other people that are sinning and singing against you and don't use the language that is hurtful for other people. Don't use the language uh, of you can use the language, you can sometimes use the language of sarcasm, but do not use the language of abuse and death and, and uh, false language. What it says in the book, uh, in uh, 29, don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words be an encouragement to those who hear them. So speak the language of encouragement, not the speaking the life of dark, uh, not the speaking, not the speaking of uh, language of darkness and abuse and other uh, other bad things, because. Because believe me, I had that experience before, and believe me that you don't want to uh, that you don't want to be face to face against the rebellious people. You don't wanna. Uh, you don't wanna. You, you don't wanna be. Uh, you don't want. Uh, you don't. Uh, you don't wanna be a she uh, sheep, and there are wolves. Because when there are wolves, and you are the sheep. They are uh, the, the, you are the victims. You uh, the, uh, you are the victim. You are the target to those uh, to those rebellious people. That is not a good thing. And you should uh, and you should understand this. What the Bible is saying. What Paul is uh, is trying. Uh, what uh, what Paul is trying to say. Do not use. A false language against other people. Don't use language of death. Don't, don't tell. Don't, uh, don't talk about other people. What is not true? Because, uh, because other people will 
uh, because other people will be feeling bad about it. They will not talk to you anymore. They will not be your friends anymore. And the other thing, you will be the target. You will be the target of this. So do not, so do not speak. Mm, uh, uh, so do not speak bad stuff about other people because it's just rebellious to other people. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just what the devil is saying about other people because the devil is the wolf and you are the sheep. So because, because I'm using that example because the wolves the wolves don't like the uh, don't like the sheep. The wolves are also uh, the wolves are also the rebellious animals. They are also really uh, really nice animals. They are really furry, but but if they show their teeth, you need to get away from the, uh, from them because the wolves are rebellious and you are the target. So that is not. A good thing uh, to think about when you are speaking, to, uh, when you are having a conversation to other people. So let's go to Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse three. Uh, Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse three. You know, I'm speaking the, uh, this uh, kinds of uh, about those kinds of stuff because you have to understand the meaning of uh, the conversation, so you will not get in trouble. So it says, "Those who control their tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything." So there is an expression. Talking is a uh, talking is so there is an expression talking is silver and being silent is gold, which is uh, uh which is uh, which is a good thing because if you some uh, have something bad to say, don't say it. If you have uh, if you don't have nothing nothing nice to say, don't say it. Otherwise, you'll be a victim. And other people will take bad advantage of you. So, uh, so other people, so other people deserve uh, good conversations. Other people deserve good conversations. So this is the, you know, so this is the truth. Um, uh, uh, so this is the truth about the good conversation skills. So there is a so there is a oh there is a one more thing um, so there is a thing that you need to be wise about your conversations um, for example a wise child accept, uh, accepts a patient's dis a parent's discipline a mocker refuses to listen to correction so if you correct your children your children should not be angry about it because. Correcting your children is giving, giving is like, uh, like this. Parents are giving love like this to their child because, uh, because if, uh, because if, uh, children do not respect their parents, they do not, um, they, uh, they, uh, they refuse to, uh, be corrected. <sighs> The parents are not uh, the pa the parent uh, mm, uh, the parents uh, can, uh, can get uh, uh, this uh, that uh, a child will be in trouble. It's not it's not necessary to uh, talk badly about your parents. It's not it's not necessary. It's not even good to talk bad badly about your parents because your parents are trying to help you. Your parents are trying to uh, to help you, and uh, what is uh, they're trying to help you? What is good and what is bad? They're trying to help you with something, and that's why God 
uh, God, uh, and that's why God says uh, uh, in the Ten Commandments that you should honor your father and your mother and your life will be no longer rebellious. You know, this is, uh, so this is uh, what is, uh, so this, um, this is longer happening. So, the thing is, uh, the thing is that if you are nice, a nice, warm-hearted person, other people will accept you. Yeah, I'm, you're a nice person. You are my best friend. You are my best son. You are my best daughter. But if you are rebellious to other people, other people will not accept you as a good friend. Other people will accept you as a bad guy. And this is what is really the Bible is trying to say. Uh, what is what what the Bible is trying to say about um, uh, about the light of speaking and the other uh, and the other thing is to learn you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. So it is stupid to hate correction. But you have to love the discipline. I will not. Uh, I will discipline my children, but I will not be strict. I will not be strict to my children. I will not be uh, like a commander to my children. I will be a nice father. I will be the best father ever. I will be a nicest father. I will be very warm-hearted. I will be. I will be very, very nice father. I will be very nice father. Lots of other fathers are going to be so amazed by this. How I'm going to treat my ch uh, child. Because I'm not going to be hitting them. I'm not going to be yelling at them. I'm going to respect their privacy. I'm going to, um, I'm going to let my um, uh, children do, uh, do what they like. But um, yeah, do what they like means to... Not uh, not discipline my child to uh, to sit with my uh, sit with my uh, uh, sit with my child, put my child on the and the knees and then and then spanking them. I'm gonna be talking to my uh, children without any rebellious behavior because other because other parents. Because other parents are very rebellious to their children, and I'm sorry for those children, but their parents, and the parents probably had, didn't have a good life, but instead, but instead, you can, your child do not deserve rebellious uh, treatment from your parents. So thank you so much for your, um, and thank you so much. For um, for um, joining me in this wonderful Bible study, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to uh, share it with your friends. And don't forget, um, don't forget to comment down below what do you want me to uh, talk about. So thank you so much, and um, I will see you next Monday. God bless you, and see you next time.